And now I've got some... Oh, geez, all my other papers are flying. Now, this, this kind of goes into my, my main topic. Um, and I've been noticing a lot of this coming up a lot within the last week or a week or two. And this kind of has to do with the iPhone. Well, you know, it's not just the iPhone. It's other, you know, anything that captures data. Um... Now let me get, give you the uh, specifics on this, um, where iPhones actually record, um, like um, GPS data, where you're located, the places that you visit. Um, it it may be a combination of GPS uh, locations and or wireless hotspots and um, cell phone tower data. And uh, I guess there's two. Researchers in the UK, I think originally, well, they weren't originally the ones that found it. There's actually some other people, but they're the ones that kind of brought it up to the, the public more um, because they were, uh, you know, actually take, uh, do research on different types of iPhone data and they found this. And uh, they actually even developed some special software where you can you know, download yourself and try it on your own iPhone. Now, interestingly enough, this actually will save the file on your iPhone, uh, possibly even the iPad, uh, but that's uh, a little different. And whatever computers you sync it up with. So um, this is what it looks like when you actually download it and uh, apply it to your um, computer. And I've actually done this myself, and uh, it actually worked. And, of course, you can do it yourself as well. And as you can see here, uh, this is uh, off of a news clip here showing all the different areas that uh, uh, you visited. Now, now, most of the time, I don't know, I kind of find it surprising because, uh, you know, I, the iPhone has a lot of apps that use recognize... Uh, that are based on location and uh, actually I went in there today and looked on my iPhone I was like there's a lot of uh, apps that I didn't realize that use your location now most of the time I turn mine off because to me it was common sense that you know if an app can uh, you're gonna let them find the location that somebody else might you know kinda use that uh, against you well I'm not saying per se And yes, the uh, as it says in the chat room, uh, Android phones do it as well. It's not just uh, the iPhone. Now, on the Android phones, I think um, after a certain amount of time, it automatically deletes the uh, the database. Now, on the iPhone, it doesn't, I think. Um, it actually keeps it even up to a year. So... And now when I used it, like I said, most of mine was turned off, my location. So when I did the software, uh, you know, looked it up on my computer, there wasn't very many locations. The only time I really used it was um, to find my location on a map. And, you know, all the rest of the apps I had turned off. So it didn't show very many locations. So, And actually, I got like a whole bunch of show notes. I don't want to miss anything on this one. And to tell you the truth, if, you know, on the most part, I don't think it uploads that data to Apple. Don't quote me on that. I I'm still, uh, there's a lot of news clip uh, about this. Um, now, it mostly uses this and... Uh, and I've got it here somewhere. And most of this, uh, these is used for applications that, you know, request your location, you know, and, and there's a lot of them. Um, some use the Google Maps. Um, it could be even for Starbucks to find the, new, the nearest location to you. So I don't think they originally set it up to do it on purpose. And I know here in America, I know they're going really bonkers over it because... You know, they're, they're even having Congress, you know, calling Apple on this and, you know, and I think it is a bit out of proportion 
you know, kind of blown out of proportion just a little bit. But I could see where it might be a problem in the future. Because, you know, you still got to be worried about things like that. Um, I would be, uh, you know, if my phone... Now, most of this, like I said, is either kept on the iPhone or on your computer. Usually, if it's a computer at home, you won't have to worry much about this. It'd be more of a problem, you know... It, uh, on the iPhone, if it was stolen, then they might be able to get this information off the iPhone. But to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be so much as worried about knowing where the places that I go to rather than all my other information on my iPhone because I got banking information. I have, uh, could be passwords or other things. And most of those I have turned off. You know how um, you can store passwords automatically so you don't have to type it in? Uh, you know, I'd never do that on the iPhone. Um, I type each password in manually. So, you know, in case my iPhone's stolen, somebody's not going to gain all that information. So I'm more worried about that than where the places that I'm, you know, that I go to. And it's only, you know, um, it's not a specific tracking. Um, it's mostly, um, like I said, high, high fi uh, Wi-Fi hotspots and... The closest um, cell phone antennas is closest to you. So, you know, it's only sometimes it's not even that um, correct because I, I know there's some uh, sometimes it's it could be a mile or two off. Now, you know, it's not it's not only like I said, it's not only uh, the Apple that's doing this, you know, Android's also doing it as well. And in fact, um, it Anytime you use your cell phone, you're often tracked. Um, and I think it's a law here in, in America. I've been seeing indications of that, that um, uh, cell phone providers are required to track um, your location uh, through cell phone towers, you know, where your call is originating from. And uh, often, you know, police can use this information in tracking um, criminals and things like that. And they've done the same thing with the data stored on your cell phone so in a way that's can be negative <laughs> unless you're i don't know unless you're you know uh you're an actual criminal then you know you probably wouldn't want to have that stuff on your phone anyway and i i uh, put some some of the the reasons why the data is on there i kind of covered uh before um the reason why they put it on the iPhone for these programs is because um, you could use, uh, you know, most of the iPhones have the GPS tracking trip chip, excuse me, um, but it takes, it takes several minutes for that to work. Um, it's actually a lot easier if it uses other methods to find out where you're located, like through, like I said, Wi-Fi hotspots and or cell phone towers. Um, it's a lot faster. It can do it within seconds. So that's the reason why a lot of these um, you know, all this information is stored on the iPhone itself because it lot, makes it a whole lot faster. You don't, you, you only have to wait seconds versus minutes with the GPS. Um, so, okay. Carla Brown also mentioned your IP address can be tracked online. Um, very possibly, but usually, I don't know, it depends. If it's a Wi-Fi hotspot, it will pick up the IP address probably from the closest router connection. Now, if it's through 3G, I guess that would be different. <laughs> yeah, they found me, uh, track me. And uh, how you doing there? We got beneath everything with Ronnie Rucker. We're we're talking about. Um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on the news um, on Apple recording locations um, on the iPhone and the computer that you sync it up to. And uh, do you have an iPhone? Are they track? I think they're tracking Ronnie Rucker there in Hawaii. Um, because uh, at one time they thought he was the backpack um, thief or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. That's a long story all in itself. So, um, From your phone, a router can be traced. Yeah, on the router. Well, see, often people that criminals, you know... They'll af often drive up to somebody's house trying to get a Wi-Fi connection to do it through their router. So, you know, if they do something... Actually, recently I also seen in the news people were... Uh, there's this one person downloading child pornography, but they were doing it through 
somebody's home router that wasn't secured. You know, they just drove up close to their house. They picked up the Wi-Fi signal and they use it through that. And they tracked it, of course, to their house instead of the, the actual person. So. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if that's true there uh, uh, beneath everything. Uh, uh, yeah, black US SUV that has the men in black with sunglasses uh, following you around. Okay, I do have an update that I just seen today on this. Um, uh, I think Apple mentioned that they don't use that data to really track where you're at. It's mainly made for the apps that do that are location aware. Um, but whether this is actually going to be an iPhone update in the future. Um, it says they're going to reduce the size of the Wi-Fi hotspot and cell phone tower data. Um, they're going to cease back up cache. Um, I'm not sure that what that means. And it says uh, they they will delete this cache entirely when location services are turned off. And uh, another thing, like I said, what I do is I turn most of my location services off um, for the program. I may not do it for the iPhone itself, but you can do it just for the iPhone. So, uh, 